good morning i put up a poll on my instagram asking if you guys would be interested to see a skincare routine and i asked where you guys would want to see it and a lot of you said youtube so we're here super cold where i live right now and i really want to focus on skin hydration the last couple weeks my skin changed a little bit i have developed some texture forehead i will be saying goodbye to chemical exfoliators for a week or two i don't know we'll see so that means i'm saying goodbye to ha's i'm saying goodbye to bha's i'm saying goodbye to glycolic acid vitamin c salicylic acid retinol all those things that i was so obsessed with and i overused it trying to get rid of textures and that concluded in destroying my skin barrier so my skin is extra dry more textury i was doing a little deep dive into deep dive into skin barrier how to bring it back how to restore it how to bring back how to bring your skin back to feeling normal and that is by focusing on skin barrier products saying goodbye to exfoliators for a little bit really just being patient with your skincare routine my morning skincare routine is very simple i always have a toner a toner is a must for me i always have a some kind of serum like vitamin serum Vino perfect serum some kind of serum and then i have a moisturizer and maybe like one additional serum when i'm going extra and a sunscreen but i am i'm going to stick to my same or order because order order <laughs> i'm gonna stick to the same and swap things out a little bit so i'll be saying goodbye to my exfoliating skincare routine and bring back and swap it with a hydrating skincare routine always have a drink when i'm filming so i'm gonna start doing a drink cam drinking blueberry smoothies with blueberries perhaps let's talk toner i used this a lot on my forehead it helped it did help this to me lives up to the hype i'm almost done i don't know if you can hear it this is super lightweight and this never irritated my skin but it does have salicylic acid and bha which I don't want to be using it every day, but I'm guilty I did. So I'm going to swap this toner with the Cream Skin Toner, Cream Skin Toner by Laneige. Such a unique, such a unique, unique. It looks very liquidy, but it turns into a moisturizer. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my palm like that. I don't use cotton pad and just gently rub it on my skin. It's watery, it feels like like actual milk. I was using this serum. This is a Vino Perfect serum, and sometimes I use the Vitamin C serum by Medicube. This by Caudalie. Very good. Love this guy. Love this guy. But they need to wait a little bit. Swapping them out. I'm bringing a soothing serum. This is by Dr. D Dr. Dart. This is by Dr. Jart. It's their intensive soothing repair serum. I opened it last night. It felt super, super, super good on my skin. It is super lightweight and does not feel like anything in it like blends in. Very beautiful. So this serum can be a little pricey. A very good alternative is the Ordinary's Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. So it's time to moisturize. So with moisturizer, I'm going to avoid anything that has vitamin C in it. Um, so I have these two right now. This is the Water Cream by Laneige. Very, very nice. Super lightweight. Doesn't feel very greasy on the skin. They also have a less... Um, creamier version the gel cream which i have heard great things about i'm gonna go with the gel cream by dr jart again just because i have tried their um ceramide ceramide cream and it was beautiful so i'm going to be using this cream it is new i just opened it feels lightweight i this is my first time trying this cream so shall be interesting it's so lightweight 
I hope it doesn't pill make my foundation pill. This is Future Me reporting. It did not make my makeup my foundation pill. This is what I use for foundation. The Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation is what I used and it did not make my makeup pill. Okay, so far it feels very, very good on the skin. It like spreads really nice. Okay, every time I rub skincare on my forehead, I can really feel that texture. And it makes me so angry that I exfoliated the hell out of my skin. Because think about it, I was just exfoliating my skin and not letting it heal. Like I was making them overwork without any break. But we have come back to our senses now and things will get better from here. PSA, you need sunscreen even though it's winter or everything else you put on your face is not going to work. Can I just say how much I like this cream? Because it feels good. Anyways, um, let's seal the deal with the sunscreen. I am using Summer Fridays um, Mineral Milk Sunscreen. Um, mineral sunscreens are a bit tricky, but I like this so far. I'm not the best when it comes to reapplying the sunscreen, but at least I have a nice generous layer every time. But okay, she's all rubbed in and nice. Um, so that is my morning skincare routine. I have, I'm going to skip my eye cream because it has vitamin C and I really want to stay away from every exfoliator possible. I'm going to talk about things and habits that I'm slowly trying to include in my everyday life that are not skincare items. First off, Washing your pillowcase, getting a separate face towel, a towel just for your face. Start drinking teas. I love this tea, dandelion root tea. I have it in my to-go cup. There are like lots of different types of teas that you can look into and implement in your nighttime routine or like skincare routine or like whatever routine, like try to include in your diet or I always drink a mug of tea before I go to bed because it helps me relax and that's another thing I was going to talk about, sleep. Sleeping is super important. I am, my goal, my biggest goal this year is to improve my sleeping schedule, sleep better, good quality sleep. I also invested in a um, humidifier because my room's very dry and every morning I wake up, my skin's dry, my hair's dry, my cat's, his paws are dry and I was like, okay, it's time to get a humidifier. I have not seen a significant difference, but my room does feel very refreshed and my lips, I don't wake up with like dry, crusty, chapped lips anymore. So that's, I think is working. And last but not least, I take a shot of this every morning before my coffee, before anything else. I wake up, go straight to the fridge, I drink water, I'm trying to drink water, and then take a shot of this. With consistency and patience, everything is going to pay off. And of course, I'm also trying to be a good water drinker. I have a bottle right next to my bed. I have a bottle at work and a little cup that I take around. I'm trying to be very, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to be a good water drinker. I'm not saying drink water for good skin. Water in general is important, so. I'm not the best when it comes to drinking water. I was once, but then it... Murmur. Anyways, um, yeah, so those are the things that I have been trying to do to improve my skin health and my overall health. And I'm also like trying to include lots of veggies in my diet. Like, for example, my vitamin C can be my peppers that I cooked this morning. Um, and my retinol could be the carrots that I packed for lunch. Just being like, you know, just being like mindful of skincare from, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this, just like little things. And this is a safe space, so I know I don't need to be perfect. I think. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you, thank you so much for interacting with my last videos, last couple videos, and, um, I am here. I am really enjoying YouTube and I have so many videos planned for this year. And <clears throat> I'll see you in you. I'll see you in you. I'll see you in my next video. Oh my goodness. And I hope you have a lovely day.